We've got a lot of news to get into here today. And yes, we're going to start with the draft because we now have all of the rosters for Raw and SmackDown. Where, where, where's Andrade? They have done some very, very wacky things. Where's, do you know where Andrade is? Well, let's go through these here. Okay. On Monday Night Raw, we have Drew McIntyre, Asuka, all four of the Hurt Business, AJ Styles, Naomi, Shayna and Nia, Ricochet all by himself, Mandy Rose, Miz and John Morrison, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, who we'll get to in a moment. They're now the Raw Tag Team Champions. Basically, Adam Pearce said, well, the Raw Tag Champs are on SmackDown, and the SmackDown Tag Champs are on Raw, so... Guys, switch belts. They switched belts. That was like one of the most ludicrous things I've ever seen. So all of you doing title histories, all of you updating your Wikipedias, good luck with that one. We have Dana Brooke, Angel Garza, who's back. Alberto Carrillo, Drew Gulak, Tucker, Grand Metallic, and Lince Dorado. So all that time building up the split and the and they're feud... Not- and they're not even going to do one match. They can't. Well, they well, well they might. They might. They might. They might do on Friday. Yes, the Fiend Bray White is on Raw. Randy Orton, Charlotte, Braun Strowman. So this Friday on SmackDown, there will be an interpromotional match right after we finish the draft. It's so Roman well, it's Reigns. Be more than one because Braun there's going to be there's going to be there's going to be several because Lars Sullivan and Jeff Hardy would be. Um, That's right. SmackDown. They announced that as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so That's yeah. So it doesn't count yet until the the draft doesn't go into effect until. Whenever until never, okay, that makes sense. Well, it used to be it used to be great when they would do the draft and they'd go on Euro- the European tour and they would forget all about it until they got back from Europe. We got Matt Riddle, Jeff Hardy, Raw actually signed Retribution. They literally signed the group whose sole purpose is to destroy the brand. Okay, that they're but, on. but but Mercedes Martinez is gone. She... She's back in NXT. Did you notice the graphic? Only four people. Well, there you go. Mustafa yeah. Ali, T Bar, no, no, Mace, wait, no, so, Reckoning, uh, and Slapjack. Okay, so what about the other like sixteen retribution people? Are they on Raw? I presume they're free agents, or they have not okay. been signed. Okay. Keith Lee, Alexa Bliss, Elias is back. Lacey oh. Evans. Okay, so isn't Elias is doing a concert next week, right? Yes. And he's going to feud with Jeff Hardy because he thinks that Jeff Hardy ran him over, even though. We all know that it was Sheamus who ran him over, right? Yes. And Sheamus is on the brand, but he's not feuding with Sheamus at all. Yes, you're correct. Okay. Nikki Cross, R Truth, well, Dominic Cro- So, so Nikki Cross has to be there because Alexa Bliss is there. So they're going to like. So I guess Alexa Bliss is going to be beating up Nikki Cross on a regular basis to uh, be heel. Dominic yeah. So, so Dominic, what the hell? <laughs> Domicato, Do- it's like they they give him this match. He gets knocked out in a minute, and now they're gonna bring him in for a push. Right? Is that how they how this works, dude? You're asking me how what's gonna happen next week. I'm trying to tell you what's happening this week, and I can barely get that straight. Oh, and and Lana isn't Lana defending against uh, um, no Asuka's defending against Lana after Lana lost in a tag match again, and now she's getting a title match next week. Yes. Okay. Just want to get that clear. Titus O'Neil, Peyton, who is now feuding with Billy on main event after they got back together two weeks ago. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's right. Akira Tozawa, Lana, the number one contender to the women's title, who was put through a table for the fourth time this week. Riddick Moss and Arturo Huas. They are all on Raw. SmackDown, you've got Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Sasha, Bianca Belair, Jey Uso, Ray and Dominic. Okay, so we don't know about Jimmy Uso. No. He's put- Jimmy Uso was supposed to be drafted tonight. Well, the way it works, Dave, is sometimes if you're injured, you get drafted, like Charlotte. And sometimes if you're injured, you don't get drafted. But like Jimmy, Jimmy Uso Jimmy Uso was on the list. Dave, was on, it doesn't was on matter who's on the list. Okay. This stuff is done last second. Okay. Ray and Dominic, presumably wife and daughter as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got to keep that whole Buddy Murphy. They got to keep the whole angle together. Yeah. Biggie, Otis, Murphy, Kalisto, Shorty okay, so, G. Okay, okay, okay. So now Otis has got the lawsuit, except he, except Miz and Morrison are on the other brand, and they're not allowed to see each other because they did establish, in fact, that Otis and Mandy don't see each other anymore. They made that very clear tonight. Wow. So, so if you're on a different brand, you're not allowed to see each other unless it's like the quarterly, whatever that thing is called. Well, maybe that's why people complain when they get drafted away from their significant others. Now we know why. 
She wasn't that unhappy. Did you notice that? Yeah, she got bigger fish to fry. Maybe I mean, not she was bigger. Like, I mean, she she like she like uh, she like complained for about ten seconds and then kind of like, well, now it's you know whatever. I'm over it now. Although you know, if you, did you notice when she, her and Dana Brooke walked together to the ring, how they like look like so unpartnership? Like they 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 look like they can't even like. Not so much Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke just Dave, normal. we're jumping way ahead here. We're going to review this I, whole show. Okay, I'm just letting you know that when Dana Brooke and, and, and Mandy Rose walk to the ring, Mandy Rose looks like she just doesn't want to be there. Well, she's teaming with Dana. I don't blame her. Okay, well, I'm just letting you know that she, she's she got to learn how to look at your look like you want to be there for your partner as opposed to like, you know. She was like that with Otis at first, and then like she was able to, to turn that around. So it's not like it's she's doomed at it, but she was first week she was pretty bad at it all right well we got bailey we got the street profits who are now the smackdown tag team champions right daniel bryan kevin owens lars sullivan okay dan daniel bryan is, is he gonna wrestle again i presume at some point he will okay lars sullivan baron corbin Sami Zayn, who got drafted like at the very end because i guess they don't give a shit about their intercontinental title well we already knew because um bobby lashley was staying on raw that Sami Zayn couldn't go so why waste a pick well, when you Dave, already that's, know? No, hold on a second, Dave. In storyline, in storyline, Raw could have drafted Sami Zayn and had both of those titles. That's literally the storyline. Well, but they didn't care, and SmackDown ob- didn't care, and they nobody- were drafting people like Shorty G before they got no, to no, your no, Intercontinental no, Champion. No, 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 that's not true. Shorty G was from the other day, so it doesn't count. But they were drafting like Titus O'Neil right before yes. that, w- weren't they? Yes, Titus or, O'Neil or was chosen. Na- Naomi was well. Naomi was the other day, but everybody, yeah, all those people, yeah. Sami Zayn was just like at the end, whatever. Ziggler and Rude, Apollo Cruz, Carmella, Alistair Black, Natalia. Did you notice? Did, did you notice that Ricochet was a, had a premonition about Apollo Cruz? Yes. You know how he knew. Because Apollo Crews lost to the full Nelson, and he knew that, like, the guy who does the job on the week before the draft is almost always going to their side. Hmm. So he knew. That's why he went in there and did really? that thing. Like, like Seth Rollins, who was the only SmackDown wrestler in a three-way with two other Raw wrestlers, and he still didn't do the job? Who the fuck knows? Natalia, and then Ruby Riot and Liv Morgan. And then so also, you- after the show went on the air, off the air, they did announce that Ivar is going to Raw... And Billy Kay, Tamina, Wait, I, I, and Zelina so, so, are going to SmackDown. Billy Kay is going to SmackDown, so no one's going to ever see her again. Who, who else? Tamina and Zelina Vega. Well, Tamina was always on SmackDown, and Zelina Vega, well, whatever. And, and Andrade is going nowhere. Oh, well, he's a free agent. Okay. So he can sign with He's a highly he sought free agent after doing that two minute job to Angel Garza tonight. Yes. I told you, man, that guy when that when that team split up, it was like it was like that guy is gonna be it's not gonna be good for him. 